Mullers. Yeah, toss pot. I see ya. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning some filmmaking and learn good. And how about we just skip that part where I say I'm working on the Marvel template and it's not this episode and just jump into some requests. So a whole bunch of you asked for a Malice voice effect from Legends of Tomorrow. So that's what we're doing today. Right, Lawrence? Oh my god. Okay. Now guys, before we get into the effect, I just want to let you know I have a bunch of affiliate links down in the description for Video Hive, Action VFX, and Filmstro, so be sure and check them out and help support the channel. Now in order to complete this effect, you need to do your best impression of John Noble, the actor who portrays Malice. Now you may be asking, who's John Noble? Have you ever seen the show Fringe? Yeah, he's that guy. And he was also that guy in Return of the King that was in that really creepy eating scene that was just really out of place. Yeah, that's the one. Either way, let's have a listen to my impression. The girl is empty. Long before you arrived, she was mine. So, something like that. That's all we need to do. Everything else is all Adobe Audition, so let's get to work. Okay guys, here we are in Adobe Audition. I've already recorded my best John Noble Malice impression, and it sounds like this. The girl is empty. Long before you arrived, she was mine. So let's get to work on building this effect. Firstly, let's right click on our recording and select insert into multi-track. And this will, of course, insert it into a multi-track session. Oh, dear. Well, I kind of saw that one coming. So our first step here is to add three separate versions of this audio track to our session. We already have one, so let's grab two more and drop them in. We may even grab a fourth a little later. Now our first track will be our hero track or our top track. This one has to stand out. To do this, let's start by boosting it a few decibels above the others. Say, three. There we go. From there, let's head to the effects rack and start to play. Our first effect is going to be a slight pitch shift. I think this one needs to be a little lower, and this will separate this track from the others as well. So let's head to time and pitch, and select our pitch shifter. All we have to do is drop this down, say, one semitone. But as always, if it doesn't sound right to you, you can play around with these settings if you like. Next, let's beef this track up a little bit. Head back to the rack, head down to special, and select vocal enhancer. Now, let's have a listen to that. The girl is empty. Long before you arrived, she was mine. It's getting there. Now, onto the second track. Firstly, I'm gonna bust this one down one decibel, there we go, just to soften it slightly. From there, it's over to the effects rack again, and our first port of call is to add some bass mon. So let's head to filter and EQ, and add FFT filter. Now if you've seen any of my other bassy tutorials, you know what's up right now. We're gonna grab our line here, and set it to default, like so. Then, we'll add a point, drag our line up, add another point, add one more, and then we'll drag it back down. This gives us a really nice beefy bass boost. Next, it's time to add a little reverb. For this, we're gonna head to reverb. Oh, the... Thank you. Only this time we're heading to full reverb. From the drop down menu, we'll be selecting Great Hall. Now, the decay time here is a little too long. This number here actually represents how long the reverb drags out. So what we're going to do is lower that to 2000. Now let's close that out and have a listen. The girl is empty. Long before you arrived, she was mine! It still needs some work, but it is getting there. So let's move on to the third track. For starters, let's bust the track volume down to minus two. From there, I'm gonna lower the pitch on this track, and this time, we're gonna leave it on the default minus four semitones. Next, let's also add a vocal enhancer, just like with our top track, like so. And lastly, let's apply a quick reverb effect. From the drop down menu, we'll simply select Thickener. Now let's have a listen to that. The girl is empty. Long before you arrived, she was mine. It's sounding pretty sweet, but I want to add a bit of extra demon when he raises his voice, like maybe a burst of voice or something. So let's add a fourth track, and then we'll trim it to the shouty part right here. We'll then follow that up by busting it down to minus three in volume. The only other thing I think I'll do here is head to the effects rack, head to chorus and flanger and add flanger. And ironically, we're going to grab Hal's chorus from the drop down menu. 
Now, let's have a listen to that. The girl is empty. Long before you arrived, she was mine. Nice. Now, guys, whether you want to do this or not, totally up to you. Let's now right click and export the entire session like so. Once our mix down is exported, we have one last step. Let's head over to the effects rack and from our drop down menu, let's add one more vocal enhancer and of course hit apply. Our final mix will now sound like this. The girl is empty. Long before you arrived, she was mine. And that my friends is our first Legends of Tomorrow effect. Mm, done. Out of all those steps, new voice goes from this. The girl is empty. Long before you arrived, she was mine. Uh, to this. The girl is empty. Long before you arrived, she was mine. So guys, that's my take on a Malice voice effect from Legends of Tomorrow. And believe it or not, that's my first Legends of Tomorrow tutorial ever. Hard to believe since I like the show so much. Now guys, I am hard at work on a bunch of really complex episodes, including that Marvel template, shut the hell up. So I'm sure I'll be back with some film learning awesomeness soon. And if you did enjoy this episode, please smash that like button guys, I really do appreciate it. And if you are new here, why not hit that subscribe button. And hey, if you are subscribed and you don't have that notification bell turned on, please turn it on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. We have a bunch of other tutorials right over here, as well as a playlist up here. We've got the social media crap above my head, Facebook, Twitter, check that community tab guys. And until I see you again, keep learning.